NDG, B.O.B. So they're calling you Bob. Stop playing, nigga. You know that I'm no but a Bob. Uh -huh. Now let's say you doing it. Say what's your price? Uh huh. Just to back it up, you can hold my eyes. Uh -huh. channel if this is your first time joining us welcome 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 to it i really do hope that you stay you subscribe and you come back family guys as you can hear with my voice sweet 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 i'm down terribly guys i don't know why or how or when this happened the first night i came back from like when i got back from Joburg, the first time i was fine i woke up in the morning I was just not doing well. I wasn't okay. I have been medicating since I got back, but my voice just still sounds really scary. So I have not vlogged since I got here. I got here on, what day is it today? It's Thursday. When did I leave? Oh, I got here on Monday. And this is the first time picking up the camera. So you must know by up and down bad. But you know what, today I called my sister and I was like, dude, let's go out for what do you call this thing let's go out for dinner my mom is actually leaving today she's going to like uh i actually don't know what she's doing there but i'm pretty sure that's something to do with gold one thing about her in a golf bag at quiet but also i've left this makeup to the very last minute so i have about three seconds to do my face there's a part of me that's actually just thinking let me just do like concealer vibe so that i just look cute enough but i don't have to stress myself with like a whole bunch of makeup so i'm thinking that's what i'm gonna do just to save on time but sure guys i'm in kp's i really just came here to rest and i feel like this flu is like baby whether you like it or not you going to rest so that's what i'm doing that's what i've been doing resting my life away i have been working here and there i did upload a vlog yesterday so if you haven't watched that please go watch that but for the most part we are r and ring i'm going to a place i've been by willing a witch's grand pavilion i've been there before but like i haven't i've only been once and i really enjoyed it i really like the food i've been telling my siblings like babes i need to go there like what's up and finally pila said here we are as she should So guys, I think let's catch up with each other when I'm done with my face. I have like 15 minutes to do it, so I don't have time for interactions. But I'll see you guys probably when I'm in the car on my way to this point. Okay guys, I finished just in time. I haven't done my lips yet, but not really because now I have to take Andy to her stop. So I'm going to be late, but it's okay. I'm just going to have to run in Balayisa like I haven't Balayisa before. No, I'm joking. I'm not going to do that. I have 40 minutes to get there. Um, hopefully that'll be enough time. I think um, Waze is just showing me the longest possible time. I'll make it in less than 40, please. You know who I am. Hi, guys. This is for the people who in the last vlog were like, they can't believe I'm driving or they've never seen me drive or can't believe I can drive. You obviously are new to this because if you guys have been on my channel for the past, since I was in varsity, you guys know that driving was my thing. I was driving for my damn life. I don't know why this thing is moving. Relax. We're at a red robot but you guys will know about talent driver band been driving for my life the me moving to Joburg was when i stopped driving but that'll all be changed soon period i don't even know if i like my makeup guys but I ha it had to be done at the end of the day <laughs>
Hey guys. So my voice they sounded so scary, but <coughs> we're back from um, Grand Rapids. Well, I'm back. I moved out, guys. It's so awkward now because I had to come back for myself. Like, what does she mean? So it's just me and my cheap baby in a house. But guys, I'm so exhausted. Like. I went out for like an hour and a half and my body is so exhausted. I need to take like 11 painkillers. It's so much pain. Like, um, ziba won't get um, Like, guys, I'm also not like a simple gulai. Like, green is really good time for me. So, this, what's happening right here is kind of ghetto. Let me go and fix my nice little water so we finish talking. Glad I did my makeup today because I won't be doing it again for the rest of the trip. I literally well, like I'm not doing that. Um tomorrow is Friday. I'm supposed to go see Debra, but if I'm still feeling like this, I don't think I'll be able to call. I might have to see her on the day that I leave, which is also okay, I think, well depending on what her schedule is, because her and my sister live very close to each other, so and she's my sister in the airport. So I think it can be arranged. But guys, I'll tell you for free. I'm dumb. So badly. I think also because I'm not a person who gets sick often. It's like the vocal shock me, Kesan. They shock me. And you guys know this if you guys are OGs on this channel. Golands, I am finally son. I am finally Golands. But if I don't get any better. I don't know what my plan is because my mom was literally here and she's a whole doctor. But like, to be fair, she gave, gave me some medication to take. So I'm just going to take that. Painkillers. And try to uh, sleep. Because... Being awake isn't it. Also guys, I'm watching Savage Beauty on Netflix. Have you guys watched? What do you guys think? I think it's some brilliant TV coming out of South Africa personally. So I'm really happy so far. I'm on like the second, the second episode, I think. So, yeah. The look bomb and promising. So I'm excited to watch that until I go to sleep. Um, it is the next day. It's Friday. Ooh, gotta get down Friday. You guys know what Friday is. But I'm just chilling on the couch. I've watched everything that I need to watch in Dituena. Real Housewives Reunion, Real Housewives of Lagos, and now I just watched Living the Dream. By the way, this episode of Living the Dream, bod, 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 bod. I even now, like when it just ended, I was like, is it done? That's weird. Like, why is it already finished, guys? Also, excuse any darkness around my eyes. <laughs> I definitely just got up and have not washed my face. But anyways, you know, I was like, baby, what's up? Like, that was really boring. I actually have nothing to say about the episode because what actually happened? Can someone let me know what happened? Um, Real Housewives of Lagos, it was Laura's fashion show, bod, her clothes, bod. Even the fact that she spoke about Wu Choma and her speech, it's giving obsessed. It's giving. Why are you so obsessed with me? Even when Shuma brought it up, I was like, you're right. She's literally obsessed with you. Like, she believes in you more than she believes in her dreams. You live in her head rent free. And, like, I just love how Shuma bigs herself up because she is literally that girl. Like, what's up? Miriam, um, I don't even think she's rude. I just feel like the girls are like, I don't know, overly sensitive or very conservative. Somebody spoke to me or spoke around me the way that Miriam does. I don't know that I would find it offensive. I would just be like, yes, the excessive use of the swear words is like, you don't have to keep swearing. Like, you can't wrap it up. Like, I get it. Everyone wants to throw in a fuck here and there. But it's just like, you don't have to do that. So that might be what's like, Real other girls are very conservative and that's maybe what's throwing them off. Of which they can literally just be like, Miriam, tone down with the swear words, baby. It's enough. But other than that, like, I don't think she's being that abrupt. I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, 
I don't know, somebody even on Twitter today was like, Zama, you literally said, you find that show boring. And I was like, yeah, but I'm gonna keep watching. I don't have much to watch, guys. I'm a woman on my own. What else happened? Yeah, reunion I'm not gonna talk about because again, as I told you guys, it's coming later. But yeah, guys. Yeah, I don't know. Nothing really gave it to me today. Nothing really gave it to me. But yeah, I am about to watch. I think I'm just gonna watch one episode of Savage Beauty um, before my sister comes. Because when my sister comes, I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm gonna head to Debs. So yeah, I do feel a lot better today in terms of my muscle pain and stuff is pretty much gone. Or maybe it was the painkiller. Who knows? <laughs> Who actually knows? But yeah, my body doesn't feel as bad today. I just feel a little congested here, but otherwise I feel great today. And maybe it's also just because I've just been moving around the house. Like before I literally just sat in my, like for the past couple of days, I've been sitting in bed every single day, not moving. But today in Dias Benga, and I think my body's like, maybe just, you weaken the knee, stand up. Exactly face beat giving as I normally and usually do guys I can't do a lot of things in my life but one thing I'm gonna do is beat up vibes. anyways guys now that my self hype is done I'm done with my makeup um, and I'm about to head to Allure I'm meeting Deborah there we're going for drinks I need to eat because I'm hungry as nuts um, and that's the vibe for the evening I'm super excited I think I'm gonna leave my vlog camera here um, well, actually, let me take it. Yeah, let me take it. We'll see. <laughs> Saturday. Yesterday, Allure was so much fun with Deborah. We had an amazing time. And then I went home to her. Sad, I know. But today we're going to the Winchester in the Sea Point for a little brunch. Still feeling very sick. Not very, I'll just say sick today. Like I've been worse. The beginning of the week was literally worse. And I don't know if I got this from the plane or from the extreme weather changes from Johannesburg to Cape Town because. Oh, let me not even say Cape Town to my mother's house. It's so cold in there. It's a freezer in there. Okay, so I, I low key think that must be it because literally there's nothing else that I can attribute this to. I felt amazing when I left Johannesburg. Quite literally, the day after I left Johannesburg, I felt like SHIT. But, anyways, say hi, Pilansky. Roman. Oh, guys, I sound so scary. Say hi, you lost your mind. Anyway, see you guys. Oh my gosh, there's so much makeup on my thing. Damn, it's so embarrassing. I'm gonna clean that. But see you guys when we get to the Winchester. Brunch. <laughs> <laughs> Two 
Hey guys, so we just got Jack, got my mimosa. off. This is the only one I'm gonna be having for the day because you know even mimosa makes you which is low-key okay for me since I am going on a flight later on, so I'm not too stressed about it. But I can only have one at a time. I really don't like this hairstyle, but I wanted to do something different considering I always have it in that same half up, half down, but one thing out. That's like the signature hairstyle for since I've had dreads. So yeah. But we're here at the Register. It's so beautiful here guys. Like I can't tell you, we're sitting next to a waterfall. The most sad. Cheers, cutie. Okay guys, we just got done at uh, Shoreditch is actually the name of the restaurant, but it's at the Winchester Hotel. Um, it's a boutique hotel. We had a really good time. We were, it was actually Bibi Caesar. And then the waiter got weird at the end. Like it was so random. What say you, Pila? Very weird. Even though you can't see half my face because I look like a very, very weird. But literally, like he just got Which so. Which is the same thing that happened at Grand Pavilion. Literally, guys. But actually, he didn't get weird. He just started neglecting us. This guy yeah, got weird. He got weird. He was good like I was so happy to give the guy at Grand Pavilion a tip. This guy just got insane. Yeah, so I don't know what's up with him. Um, we asked him to show us like what cakes you guys have. So he's like, no, all the cakes are inside. We look at the cakes that are inside, so we pick a cake. So I'm like, I want carrot cake. Peter's actually like, don't like any of the cakes outside. Fine. Then the next table, they bring like the next table's food. There's cheesecake. I was like, there was no cheesecake outside. So you've lied. So he comes back and I'm like, I asked you if they were like, what are the cakes that you guys have? You said they're all outside. So clearly there's a menu with cake on it and you just decided not to tell us and for Londo they don't touch it like the like carrot cake which made cheesecake and Pila also likes cheesecake so she was like and I also want one I go main daughter so I eat chicken or boo so come back sweet day what's up babe tell go meal it was just really awkward like he made us very uncomfortable he left the card machine on the table guys and he left he said Pila figure it out for yourself <laughs> I'm going to give the next table their food. You're gonna figure out how the card machine works. But yeah, I'm, we're heading to Pila's place because I have to see where she stays, just so that you know, I know where to direct them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know where she lives. So I'm going to do that. I um, also might see Dems while I'm that side, but I'm saying might because we're in such a big rush. Aren't we, Pils? Are you not trying to get to the airport on time? Yeah, I am trying to get to the airport, so. We just need to, my main priority is getting to Peels, taking my makeup off, changing into my airport gear because I cannot go to the airport looking like this, guys. They're going to be like, baby, are you a clown? No, I'm joking. They won't say that because, I mean, people go for, like, shoots and stuff. But, like, I just want to be comfortable and, like, pass the fuck out when I get to the airport. So that is my goal. Okay, so, probably see you guys. If I don't see you guys at Peels' place, I'll see you guys at the airport. So, 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 so.
Hi guys, so it is many, many, many a day. Now I'm literally being so dramatic. It's literally just Monday, and the last time I spoke to you was on Saturday. So basically, I got home um, on Saturday night, load shed, went out, have no regrets at the time of my life. But excuse me, um, yesterday all I did was that we went to Tattoos for a braai. Um, her dad made us food, it was so 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 nice. Um, definitely needed wholesome vibes super wholesome vibes loved it so today is Monday a new week and I have as you can see taken out the locks all of you guys were like dude you literally hate them so much but they look so cute but I was like sorry guys I have to take them out like that old look wasn't giving it to me like it's cute and stuff but like mm -mm. no the idea of having like hair that looks old just was not giving it to me so I took them off this morning and it actually didn't take that long but right now I'm going to actually go and get my hair relaxed. Super random, I know. Um, and I've been meaning, you guys are probably, if you've been watching me since last year, at least you would know that I've been, been, been um, meaning to relax my hair. I just feel like the best, the only time I actually have enjoyed wearing my own hair out has been when it's been relaxed. <laughs> I quite literally haven't worn it out while it's been natural and I've just wanted to relax my hair for the longest time so I'm gonna go do that I'm going to the guy who relaxes the twins hair if you guys haven't seen their natural hair their natural hair is absolutely beautiful it's relaxed but like it looks so good healthy so I'm going to one of the people that does their hair in Ravonia yeah this is pretty spur of the moment because I was just thinking oh let me just keep it and like just wear a wig but i was just thinking you know what let me just relax it now once and for all so that when i want to rebraid i'm probably going to rebraid in the next two weeks i just want to give my hair a little bit of a break um before i do that but before i want to before i rebraid my hair i want it to be relaxed so that's what i did um well that's what i'm going to do so i'm going to bring you guys with me i'm not going to bring my camera um just because the battery is like finished <laughs> But I will be vlogging on my phone, so you don't have to worry about that. See you guys when we get to Henry's spot. So they're calling you Bob. Stop playing, nigga. You know that I'm no Buddha Bob. <laughs> Guys, Henry ate me up, eh? Henry did what Henry needed to do. I'm obsessed. I love it. I love the fact that he cut my hair to make it nice. Bob length said all of it's gonna grow at the same length because guys, my hair was different lengths. Because you know one thing about me, when I'm undoing my braids, <laughs> depends see, okay? And then everything becomes mash up in the middle so you know what we're starting at a good length little bob for the girl i was gonna um wear a wig tomorrow because tomorrow i'm shooting um with zuzi but i'm thinking we might have to rock my b.o.b <laughs> she's biracial she's a biracial girl <laughs> guys i literally can't be stopped i love 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 my hair i love that it's relaxed more than anything else like i can't tell you it's like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders i just feel so much better i feel lighter it feels like there's nothing on my head and i love that for myself but anyways guys back to more important matters but i just need you guys to know b-o-b -B, okay calling me bob you know that i'm known for that bob. anyways as far as dinner today guys we are gonna be cooking together i guess since we're here now um we i bought this julienne sliced pepper butternut and carrot mix from woolies one thing about me guys i will try something new from Woolworths. so i bought that today because i was thinking let me make a quick stir fry i have chicken breast that i'm gonna include here so yeah that is gonna be my dinner for 
today i'm thinking if i'm gonna have it with pasta or not although i think i should because i am a bit hungry and also i've told myself that i'm not gonna make more than one portion because again i know that i hate umbego but i'm always baking baby you hate it stop it stop making so much food i need to learn how to make the perfect one portion so i'm gonna try today because really like it's giving food wastage so i need to stop i need to cook the food on the day or else i'm just not gonna enjoy it the day after so yeah that's my plan and we're just gonna watch stuff i actually want to watch our father today guys it's that um, netflix documentary about the guy who inseminates a whole bunch of women with his s-p-e-r-m scary stuff i need to watch it it's kind of really gross to be honest but i need to see it Guys, that food, that was so good. Let's get the bill. <laughs> Guys, pure pizza are going to be popping. <laughs> um, I did just finish eating. I'm about to head to sneeze because I actually didn't realize that we both have 8 p.m. load shedding and I need to go pick up some of the packages that were dropped off with her, my tripod. If you guys watched the last vlog, my tripod. Um, <clears throat> so yeah. I'm gonna go there like right now. I just ordered an Uber because I don't want any mistakes. But. Hi guys, I'm back from getting my stuff from a sneeze. I got a package that I'm gonna be unboxing tomorrow. And last but certainly not least, <laughs> guys, this tripod rocks. It's a Bluetooth tripod. As you can see, literally you can do so much just from the tripod. I don't even use the Bluetooth thing a lot because it charges the battery. But the fact that it can do that, I was like, I need to get this back. Also, the guy who um, brought it, the Uber driver, was so incredibly sweet, guys. Like, what are the odds? I even said, like, let me know how much it's going to be, like, for fuel or whatever. He gave me such a low number. I was like, I even need to give you more because you don't know that you literally saved my life. Like, baby, I love you. Thank you. <laughs> literally, you don't understand. Like, you've done so much for me. I need to give you more and do more to show my appreciation but yeah that was really luck for me and thank god i got somebody who was just like great and actually did drop it off when they said they would that was just the best so yeah guys i'm in the process of wrapping my hair tomorrow i have a bit of a content day i would say i need to go to film this um, unboxing and then after that i'm gonna go to zuzi ways to shoot so yeah that's me but thank you so much for watching this vlog guys i really hope you did enjoy it if you did please don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up don't forget to comment let me know what you guys thought of the vlog and of course don't forget to subscribe please 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 give away a winner don't forget to message me i haven't heard from you so please also we're gonna have to pick another winner so bye guys <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you.